Welcome to this series of videos from Magnet Forensics to introduce users to Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber. These videos are intended for new users that have recently purchased Magnet Axiom or Magnet Axiom Cyber and are in the process of incorporating them into their digital investigative workflow. The videos will help to familiarize users with the installation of Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber and the core components of both products, Axiom Process and Axiom Examine. Additionally, these videos will demonstrate the configuration of Axiom Process within both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber to acquire and process evidence from computer, smartphone, and cloud platforms, as well as introduce some of the high-level features of Axiom Examine used in both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber to aid in the review, analysis, and reporting of digital evidence. In this module, participants will learn about the steps necessary to install Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber. We'll discuss minimum and recommended system requirements and discuss the settings available in Axiom Process for both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber. As mentioned previously, Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber consist of two main components, Axiom Process and Axiom Examine. Axiom Process consists of an acquisition and processing component where examiners can acquire forensic images from a variety of computer, mobile device, and cloud evidence sources. Or you can choose to process previously acquired images from a variety of computer, mobile device, cloud, or vehicle evidence sources. If you're using Magnet Axiom Cyber, you can also acquire data from computers using custom-built remote acquisition agents. Axiom Process recovers artifacts from all your evidence sources for review in Axiom Examine. Axiom Examine consists of a series of explorers designed to help examiners review the tremendous volume of data that are typical in modern digital investigations. Among the various explorers available in Axiom Examine are the case dashboard, shown here, and the artifact explorer, shown here. All of the explorers available in Axiom Examine will be discussed in an upcoming module. Well, let's talk about system requirements to run Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber. For convenience, a link is included in the video description for the chart shown on my screen. You will need a 64-bit version of Windows Server 2019, Windows 8.1, or later, along with the Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.8 or later installed. You will also need a graphics adapter capable of at least 1280 by 720 screen resolution, four logical CPU cores, and at least eight gigabytes of RAM, along with sufficient storage space for your operating system and applications, along with the evidence files, case files, and temporary files that are created while working with various digital evidence sources. Aside from the minimum system requirements, recommended hardware configurations are listed, and I'll add just a couple of suggestions about performance. Both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber are very multi-threaded applications, and they will leverage up to 32 logical CPU cores. CPU core count and clock speed are two common parameters used in gauging performance. Within Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber, the biggest improvement you can make to processing speed comes from providing additional CPU cores provided there is sufficient RAM to prevent thread starvation. Also, recognize that increasing core count does not improve performance in a linear fashion. The more CPU cores you have available, the more work is required to keep them busy with instructions. Additionally, Moving evidence containers to flash-based storage with greater disk throughput provides significant performance gains over traditional spinning disk storage. Both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber offer Magnet AI functionality to assist in the location and categorization of media items. These features are incredibly processor-intensive and will leverage the capabilities of a discrete graphics processing unit installed in your examination workstation. Magnet AI supports NVIDIA-based cards from the Tesla, Quadro, NVS, GeForce, and Tegra lines. Finally, if you're using Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber to perform acquisitions of mobile devices, you will need the latest version of iTunes installed for iOS drivers and mobile device drivers for the various Android models that you may encounter during your examinations. To cover these settings in even greater detail, Magnet Forensics Training offers the four-day AX200 Axiom Examinations course with in-person, online instructor-led, and online self-paced options. For Axiom Cyber users, the Magnet Axiom to Magnet Axiom Cyber Transition course is offered in an online, self-paced format. A link to the training course catalog is also included in the video description. Alright, let's walk through the installation of Magnet Axiom, or Axiom Cyber. And we need to recognize some of the steps may vary depending on how your computer is configured and where you ultimately choose to install the software. 
but for this example, I'll open the folder on my desktop labeled Axiom Installer. Within that, I have a zip archive named Axiom plus the version number Setup. And this is the same thing you'll see when you download the installer for Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber from the Magnet Forensics website. I'll go ahead and extract the zip archive to this location. When that completes, you'll see you now have files named similar to the original zip archive, Axiom plus the version number setup.exe, and then others with the BIN extension. The executable file is the one we'll use to launch the installer, so I'll go ahead and double click that. We can close that file explorer window. The first option you have is a drop down menu for the installation program language display. I'll leave this as the default, click OK, and then we're presented with the end user license agreement for Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber. Once you've selected the radio button to accept the agreement, you can choose the next button at the lower right of the window, and you now have the option to determine the installation location of the software. Now I'll keep this as the default within the program files directory of the system drive. The next two windows give options to create start menu folders and desktop shortcuts. Again, leaving all of these as default, we'll just simply select the next button at the bottom of the window to continue. Finally, at the ready to install window, we can see the choices that we've made regarding the installation of Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber. And when we're ready to continue, simply click the install button. During the installation, you'll likely see pop-up windows for the Microsoft C++ redistributable and other items. The Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber installers include all of the necessary dependencies, making installation in an offline environment easy. And we'll go ahead and skip forward in the video until the installation completes. Once the installation completes, you will see a window similar to mine indicating that setup has completed installing Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber. Ensure that the checkbox to launch Axiom process is selected and then select the finish button at the bottom of the window. Once Axiom process launches, you may be presented with this dialog window indicating you need to activate a license. For your specific installation, you may be using any of a variety of license types supported by Magnet Axiom or Magnet Axiom Cyber. For Magnet Axiom, these can include a dongle based license, a network license server, or a trial license. For Axiom Cyber, these can include a cloud license server, a dongle-based license, local license server, machine-based license, or a trial license. The variety of license types ensures there are options to fit every use case. The Magnet Forensics website includes a number of knowledge base articles specific to each licensing type, and a link is included in the video description below. For these videos, I will be using an electronic license in the form of a temporary key. If you are also using a temporary key, Simply copy the appropriate license type to your Windows clipboard and paste into the license key text window shown here. Once this is completed, the status bar at the top of the licensing window will display that your license is now active. Selecting OK at the bottom of the window will result in this dialog window being displayed indicating that Axiom process must be restarted in order to apply the license change. We'll select OK and wait for it to relaunch. While Axiom process is restarting due to the license change, you can see I have two new icons on my desktop, one for Axiom process and one for Axiom examine. And this will be the same whether you're using Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber. Both Magnet Axiom and Axiom Cyber are designed to help forensic examiners by combining multiple steps of the digital evidence workflow into a single platform. With Axiom Process, examiners can complete the acquisition and analysis of their evidence including computer, mobile device, cloud-based, and vehicle platforms using one tool. The need to wait for forensic imaging with one program to complete before manually loading into an analysis platform in order to search for data relevant to your case is a thing of the past. Axiom Process will complete the acquisition of your case-specific evidence sources and then recover items from those evidence sources which are available for further analysis using the various explorers in Axiom Examine. When Axiom Process first launches, you may also be presented with a dialog window warning of interference with antivirus software. A knowledge base article is linked in the video description with additional information, but there are several areas of concern here. 
Antivirus software may delete or quarantine harmless files found during a scan of evidence items, sometimes without notification to the users that it has done so. Axiom Process also uses several exploits which can lead to antivirus software deleting or quarantining these items. The specific steps necessary to make adjustments will vary based on your particular antivirus software. As an example, I'll select the link to open Windows Antivirus Settings. I'll then select the link in Windows Security Center for Managed Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. And then I'll toggle off the option for real-time protection. The Knowledge Base article linked in the video description includes a list of selected directories on the system where you have Magnet Axiom or Axiom Cyber installed that you can use to create exceptions within your antivirus software to prevent those locations from being scanned by the software. Now that Axiom Process is restarted, we can see there are a few options available. We could create a new case, we can browse to an existing case, or there's an area below which will populate with recently accessed cases once those become available. Before we begin working with case data, we need to discuss the various settings available to examiners within the Axiom Process settings of both Magnet Axiom and Magnet Axiom Cyber. And this will be the topic of our next video.